this week's movie for SourceFed Movie Club is Ferris Bueller's Day Off from 1986. Uh, stars Matthew Broderick. Most other people in this movie are best known for the roles in Ferris Bueller. Pretty iconic movie from the 80s. Uh, really well known. Jennifer Grey, Mia Sarah, Alan Ruck. Ben Stein is his teacher. He's great. Uh, so, I'm going to watch this movie again and let you know what I think. So, the movie takes place in Chicago and follows around Ferris Bueller, played by Matthew Broderick. He narrates the entire movie, kind of Zach Morris style where he talks to the camera while stuff is happening in the background. And if you don't know who Zach Morris is and don't know who Ferris Bueller is, then there's no hope for you and you can turn the review off now. Anyways, he pretends to be sick and takes a day off from school. Actually, he it's his ninth day off, so Either the first eight days weren't very exciting, or I missed those movies. But either way, he calls up his friend Cameron to hang out, and calls up the school and tells them that his girlfriend's grandmother died. His girlfriend is named Sloane. She's played by Mia Sarah, who is in Legend and Time Cop. And it was Harley Quinn in that Batman uh, TV show, Birds of Prey, a couple years ago. The part where the principal is yelling at the phone, asking to see the grandmother's body, and all this stuff is hilarious. It's a great part of the movie, where he thinks Ferris Bueller is behind it all, and is making all these lewd comments, and then has to apologize for him. is great. Uh, when he gets, uh, finally gets his girlfriend out of school and they make out in the parking lot and he's pretending to be her dad. So that kind of makes the principal not know what the hell's going on. Most of the movie following Bueller around is about their adventures around Chicago. They end up in a fancy restaurant where they threaten to call the cops if they aren't served. They go to a Cubs game. They go to the Sears Tower. They go to end up. The big scene is a parade. They Ferris Bueller jumps on one of the floats and sings on a parade float and gets basically the entire city of Chicago to dance along with him. And according to this movie, there's only 30 black people in Chicago, and they all dance in t choreographed tune with each other. So. That's nice. Back at the school, we have Ben Stein as a teacher teaching the class. And his parts are great. Uh, everyone knows the line with the Bueller, 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 Bueller. Keep saying his name over and over until... One of the students says that he's dying and ends up spreading around the whole school that he's dying. And then ends up spreading through the whole town. Later on, you see a contribution cup for him being passed through the school. And then the newspaper says that the whole town's railing around a sick youth. The water tower has changed to say, Save Ferris. They uh, send a stripogram to his house, a nurse stripogram to his house to cheer him up because he's so sick. And this gets his sister, Jennifer Grey, more and more pissed off as the movie goes because she knows he's faking and can't stand that he's getting away with something. So, while Jennifer Grey's getting mad at Ferris, the principal's running around town trying to prove that he's lying. 
and they end up running into each other. He end up breaking into her house, knocks her dog unconscious with a potted plant, which is just horrible, and I'm sorry for laughing. Big old Rottweiler chases them around for a long time. And then when the singing telegram nurse comes, he takes the plant and beans the dog over the head with it. Yeah, that happens. So they end up running into each other, and she thinks he's a trespasser, reports him, police show up, he's not there anymore, so she gets sent to the police station for filing a false police report. And that's when Charlie Sheen is in the movie. Charlie Sheen, of course, plays a druggie. And now Charlie Sheen claims that to prepare for the role and look like a druggie, he stayed awake for 48 hours. But I think we all know what he did to look like a drug addict. He was being a drug addict, in case he didn't get that joke. So, when their plan to take the mileage off the car doesn't work, Cameron freaks out, starts bashing in the car, and decides to stand up to his dad for once, for the first time in his life, and make his dad see him for a person. And leans into the car and sends it flying off a cliff. Dude, you killed the car. So, that's about it. Everyone ends up pretty happy. If you're hoping for a bad student, learns his lesson, becomes a better person, it's not that type of movie. It's just a comedy. It's fun. It's really good. Uh, Ferris Bueller and his girlfriend are still together. They're going to get married eventually. His sister gains a boyfriend and Charlie Sheen. So maybe that ends in tragedy. Uh, Cameron ends up learning to stand up against his dad and begins to be a person, and everyone ends up happy. Oh, and the dog attacks the principal because he's a dick. And that's about it. Thank you for watching, and as always, I'll try to do better next time.